What's up, boys? Today we're gonna learn to make a sound that is absolutely crazy. Like, my neighbors just called the police 10 minutes ago. The police came. I had to kill two cops and injure three others until, you know, they gave up. So yeah, this sound is that good. Let's listen to it. So yeah, that's the sound. As you can see, it's composed of two serum patches right here. This is the, the first. And this is the second one. Let's go to the first one first. So we start with an MB saw from analog. And what we're gonna do is table position 250, like <laughs> all the way. And with this shape, which is at 132nd T, which means triplet, on trigger mode, we're gonna put it at minus 38%. And then on level from zero to 100. This is how it sounds. Absolute garbage, because it's at minus four octaves. So it's actually below the audible, the last audible um, fundamental frequency. So what we do is of course FM from B and it's at 32% and plus 18% with this LFO, which is the only LFO we're gonna use in the whole patch. Um, and this is at default saw wave. Very important that it's the actual default one, not the opposite direction one, but just this default, don't touch anything, <laughs> like just default. And uh, yeah, and that makes it sound like this. By the way, as you can hear, uh, I'm modulating the mod wheel on both of the serum patches. It's just going down, that's it. Uh, so yeah, then we have the noise, very important. Bright white under analog and it is actually going from zero to around half, around 50%. Then we got a notch filter acting over A and noise. Cutoff is 943 minus 29 LFO. Rest is 13%. And then the mix is all the way up with minus 11 on the LFO. So this is how it sounds so far. Now we go to hyper. We're gonna turn it up a little bit, 17%. We're gonna turn the distortion up on, how do you say this? Diode one, whatever. Uh, and it's on uh, around 90% and this is modulating it up all the way to 100%. Then we got a phaser, rate zero, 33% depth, frequency is 784. Fit is 80%, face is 136, and mix is 53%. This is not doing that much, but it's changing the sound a little bit. Okay, th that might have been too loud. Anyway, the chorus is gonna be just default at 18%, uh, because I'm a lazy fuck. <laughs> then we got the compressor. It's multiband activated and I turn the gain up by 5.6 dB. Then we turn on the reverb, a little bit of reverb, not a lot, 14%. And then some EQ to take out the lowest frequencies at 155 Hertz. Because um, the lower frequencies are gonna come from the other patch, okay? So this is the first patch. Now we're gonna go to the second one, which is very, very simple stuff. <laughs> Let's see if it loads up. Okay, it's gonna be just, uh, so, sorry, I didn't tell you one little thing, which is this is at zero octaves and this is at minus four, okay? Anyway, uh, 
this one is going to be at minus three. Now you can put this sine wave in one of the oscillators in the center, but I just put it in the sub oscillator because it's a sub, you know, <laughs> it's going to be default. And the only thing that this patch does is it adds zero square distortion at 5%. That is the whole patch. Okay. This is how it sounds. And now where the fun is, is we group them both together. We send them to the same track and we apply saturation. Now, if you're not on Ableton, you can apply some other kind of distortion. It's going to be completely fine. Um, but yeah, this is how it would sound with the distortion on. So yeah, guys, if you like that badass sound, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell and yeah, guys, see you next time.